Just like you would study for a test or prepare for a job interview, you have to prepare for the position of life. my channel my name is lady v if you're new here sis hey girl hey <laughs> i pray that i say something in today's video that blesses and encourages you on your singleness journey as you navigate love life and everything in between with style and grace all right y'all so in today's video i'm going to take y'all with me as i write in my future husband prayer journal y'all know we are being intentional on our um about praying for our love lives this year and our future spouses but also today, we are going to talk about being intentional about preparing yourself to be a wife because y'all, it is not enough for us to just pray for these men. We have to prepare ourselves, okay, to receive said men when God brings them into our lives. And then finally, I reached out to my married and divorced girlfriends and I asked them like, y'all, what advice would you give to single women who desire marriage? And y'all, they spilled the tea, okay? So y'all make sure y'all stick around for today's video. We got a lot to talk about so yeah let's get ready for a little girl talk all right y'all so i am up it is saturday morning i am dressed i am cute if i do say so myself <laughs> but y'all i am going to use this morning i'm gonna go get some breakfast and tea <clears throat> and check out this new cafe and use this time to write in my future husband prayer journal y'all know if you watch my pray for your future husband um, video that i'm being intentional about praying over my love life this year and i want to make it an intimate experience so i'm actually going to this aladdin cafe a whole new world because i want a whole new world with my husband when the lord sends him <laughs> but no this cafe is supposedly um like all the decor is like Aladdin themed and the cups and drinks are like Aladdin themed. So I'm super excited to go check it out. So I'm about to pack my bag right now. I think I'm also going to just do my morning devotional and stuff at this cafe and just make this an intimate time with Jesus. All right, so I'm getting ready to pack my bag. Y'all, look how cute this bag is. This bag I got from my friend as a gift for coming on her trip when we went to Mexico. So I'm about to use this bag to take with me. Um, I'm going to put in my devotionals that I'm currently reading so that I can have some quiet time with God. Uh, I am going to take my tablet because your girl does need to edit a YouTube video for y'all to post. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to take my affirmation cards as well as my future husband prayer journal. Yes, I kept the journal in its original packaging because I don't want nothing to happen to it. That's for my man, my man, my man. And then I'm just going to take my regular journal. And we are going to go ahead and get out of here. That is a heavy bag, y'all. I got a lot of stuff in here today. <laughs> all right, loves. So I want to share with you all my plan to create an intimate experience when I am writing out my prayers for my future husband. I want it to be something I can look forward to, something that will get your girl excited and hopeful about the love that is to come. What better way to start the day than by starting with a love song? The song I listened to on my drive was Why I Love You by Major. It's so beautiful. And as you can see, it gives your song. girl all the feels. Oh, I love this song. Why I Love You by Major is going to be one of my wedding songs. So, yes, I am listening to it while I'm on my way to pray for my future husband. We are being intentional, y'all. We are being intentional. We are walking by faith, not by sight, because I know it is coming. Let me get back to my song. <laughs> all right. We have officially made it to the Aladdin Cafe. I did get a little lost because uh, I know <laughs> I didn't know where it was, y'all. But we here. We here. So I'm going to go ahead and get about this car. How cute is this? Y'all, this place is super cute. How cute is this? I don't already put my stuff down. But I want to go show y'all Aladdin and Jasmine. Look how beautiful this is, y'all. I'm definitely gonna have to start coming here. Look, not Genie. Ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. A whole new world. <laughs> not me in here. Feeling like I'm in the movie. Do you need any recommendation? Any help? Uh yes, actually, for both tea and food. 
Y'all, they are so nice here. I know my uh, <laughs> lighting is bad, but super nice here. Service is nice. Um, why is it so close on me? There we go. All right, so everybody's super nice here. They've been super helpful in the recommendations. I am going to get the Genie breakfast. They said that's very popular, and it comes with a tea, um, their desert tea. So I'm going to try that. And, um, yeah, I chose a low table. So we're going to see how it goes with me writing here, but we'll see. This is nice. <laughs> My mom would love this. That's crazy. Then it's done. Wow. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep, I'll keep it. So let's continue on with creating our intimate experience as we write out our prayers. The first thing I like to do is turn off distractions. So as you can see, I am putting my phone on do not disturb. Next, I'm going to center my mind and my heart. You will see that I'm first starting out with prayer. I'm praying that my heart is open to whatever God is doing and what he may reveal. I'm also praying my anchor scriptures over myself, including Proverbs 18 and 22, that I will be a wife in Jesus name because sis, you have to declare it and decree it. Okay. Now, y'all all know I'm all about affirming myself in the love department. So at the beginning of the year, I wrote out these love affirmations that I was declaring over myself and I wrote it on these cards so that I can take them with me. But I also have them saved as a cute graphic on my phone. The whole goal of declaring these love affirmations over myself is so that I can position my heart posture and pivot my thought process to believe in and be ready to receive love in the future. And now finally, we have come to the main event. We get to start writing in our prayer journal. Now, I choose to write in mine as though I'm writing directly to my husband um, because the goal is for me to give him this journal when we get married. Now, lately, I haven't had much time to write out my prayers in my journal, so I've been keeping them in my phone. So today, I'm transferring over some of those prayers as well as allowing God to speak and let me know if there's anything more that I need to pray for. And that's how I made an intimate experience out of writing out my prayers for my future husband. I hope this gives you some ideas, y'all. I have everything linked below, including this journal, as well as my free download so that you can get specific prayer prompts to pray over your future husband today. So y'all, I just met the owner. Um, he was like, oh, do you do this for social media? I was like, yes, I'll, I'll definitely tag y'all in it. And uh, they're just so super nice and sweet, y'all. Um, I definitely will be coming back here for writing, writing to my future husband, as well as writing um, for a book that I want to do. So, yeah, this has been an overall good experience. And so now I need to get home so that I can finish the rest of my day. All right, love. So I am finally leaving the Aladdin Cafe. I got here right at 10, and it is 12.58. So I spent about three hours here, right? 10, 11. 11, 12, 12, 1. Yeah, I spent about three hours here. And y'all, this place, this was everything. I, oh God, I just had such an amazing time writing in my future husband prayer journal. The I met the owner um, and the staff. Everybody was so nice, so helpful. Because I got here early and they saw me with my camera, they were so willing to show me around and show me how they were making things. And y'all, I was just feeling like I was in my content creator bag, even though I'm not getting paid for this. But it was just so nice at how nice they were. The service was absolutely incredible i would highly recommend this place and i just uh, i just had so much um my heart is full right now i probably wrote seven eight nine pages of prayer in my future husband journal <laughs> um but it's okay because that's what we do and we are manifesting love and all the things so anyways now i gotta get back to the house because i do have a housewarming party that i have to go to in a couple of hours and there's still some things i want to take care of but i just had to check in with y'all to let y'all know that this was such a good experience so if you are being intentional about praying for your future husband i encourage you to make it an intimate thing to make it like a date if you will get out the house sis find a place and start writing 
out all of the things that God is putting in your heart as you cover your future husband in prayer. All right, y'all. So in the spirit of being intentional this year, okay, um, I've just felt led to start being intentional about preparing myself to be a wife. Now, I'm not saying that this is my season of marriage, but I'm also not not saying that this is my season of marriage. Honestly, y'all, if I could just share with y'all all of the divine and miraculous ways God has been speaking to me uh, about my love life, the signs that he's been giving me, like, uh, my friends know it is literally blowing my mind. And so I'm feeling like, you know what? I have never actually read any resources that focus on actually preparing to be a wife, right? And so that's what I'm going to start doing. And I'm excited because one of the books that I ordered is here and I'm about to get it right now. And then I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this book, <laughs> which I'm super excited about. But honestly, y'all, I've just been in this season where I've just felt like it's not enough for us to just pray and cover our future husbands in prayer. We have to be intentional about preparing ourselves to be a wife. That way when God does align our path with that of our purpose partner and husband, that we too can be an answered prayer to him, that we are healthy, that we are healed, that we have dealt with our emotional baggage, that we have done the work, that we are ready, that we have learned patience and submission, that we have learned to bridle our tongues and speak life over that man instead of speaking negativity over that man. Y'all know women, we have power in our tongues to either uplift our men or tear our men down. And a lot of women out there using that power to tear these men down but that's that's a topic for a different day okay <laughs> that we learn how to love him and respect him in all the things just like you would study for a test or prepare for a job interview you have to prepare for the position of wife in the godly marriage that god is getting ready to bring to you okay and that is what i am doing in this season which is why i got this book it is here it is called positioning yourself to be a wife by Shamika Dean. I didn't even know sis was black, okay? But sis is black, and so I love supporting black owned, so I'm super excited. It's a quick and easy read, it looks like it's gonna be. And so, uh, even the inside. And I actually found this book by watching a couple of TikToks. I had to see what the TikTok girlies were recommending about preparing yourself to be a wife. So I'll try to link some of those TikToks below. And I have to chime in here and say that as I was waiting for this book to come, y'all, I was laying in bed early one morning and I felt God just let whisper in my spirit, it's all connected. That I started the year reading the Believe Bigger book by Marshawn Evans Daniels, which helped to restore my hope and faith uh, to believe God for bigger, for more, that he has many like big things in store for me not just with respect to my love life but with respect to my purpose in life as a whole and now here i am i believe god that he's going to bring all these things to fruition and now i'm actually preparing for it so now my actions is matching my faith and it feels so good to be here y'all and so i also decided to take this a bit further and i reached out to my married and divorced girlfriends my community and i asked them what advice would you give to single women desiring marriage like what is something that you wish you knew or something that you think could better prepare you and y'all I got a lot of information from them and so I tried to summarize it but I wanted to share this with you all just so that you can start to think of ways in which you can practically start preparing yourself to be a wife all right so here's what they said in no particular order date yourself love yourself embrace your imperfections Go to therapy, unpack your trauma, learn to communicate, set boundaries, and stand firm in your boundaries. This journey of self-love and self-discovery will empower you to never settle for just anyone, but to choose a partner who truly values and respects you, all of you. Another person said, develop your relationship with God. It is hard to build a solid foundation with your husband when you yourself have no foundation in God. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, another one says to let go of what you thought marriage would be like and embrace what it is. Turn off the noise from the internet and stop looking to others for the do's and don'ts of marriage and instead tune into yourself and listen to God's. And I think this is a good one. Um, I, 
I know for me personally, I've stopped saying like relationship goals when I see other couples like post on the internet because A, we don't really know what be going on behind the scenes anyway, okay? And B, just because I don't want to start training my mind to think that my relationship has to look like somebody else's. I want a relationship that is perfect for me in all of its imperfections. And so I really love that advice from one of my friends. Another person says, truly take the time to get to know yourself, who you are, what you like and dislike, what you are looking for in a man. Um, some of my friends even noted that they wish they had dated more so that they could know what qualities they wanted in a husband. But they said that like not knowing or but they said knowing themselves better would have helped them determine what they were willing to allow in their relationships. And some of this came from some of my friends who are now divorced y'all or who went through some things in their marriage. And it really speaks to me the importance of knowing what you want and what you desire in a spouse so that you don't allow certain things in your marriage. Um, another friend said to invest in genuine friendships before getting married. They are valuable and it can become hard to find great friends after marriage. Um, don't lose yourself in your relationship or be too quick to compromise on your boundaries or the things that you want. Um, I had a couple of people say, go to premarital counseling and have the difficult conversations before marriage. You've got to have the hard conversations and do the hard work before you get married, as these are things that can make or break your marriage. And I think they also had shared some books that they had read during their premarital counseling class. I think one was Before I Say I Do or Before You Say I Do. All right, just a couple of more. Before you marry, make sure you're really okay with who that person is. Habits are hard to change. So if there's a habit you don't like, you have to make sure you're okay with it should it never change because, of course, you can't change a man. So that's important. And like I said, I got plenty more, but I just tried to summarize a couple because I don't want to make this video too long. I'm just sharing these with you all so that you can hear directly from married women and women who are now divorcees on how we as single women can better prepare ourselves for marriage. Um, so if any of that resonated with you, I know some of these resonated with me, I'd encourage you to sit in that, let God speak to you on those areas and start preparing yourself. This is our season, sis. Start preparing yourself. Okay, get the books. Okay, get the resources. Do, what it, do whatever it is you need to do to um, make yourself uh, an answered prayer for your future husband as well. So I'm excited to see what's all in store as we start to prepare for our kings. All right, love, so that is all that I have for today's video. I pray that it blessed and encouraged you in some way. Y'all, I am super excited about this season for all of us as we be intentional, not just about praying for our future spouses, but preparing ourselves to be an answered prayer to those men as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is as I continue to read different books and resources throughout my videos this year. I'll continue to share that with all of you in case you too want to start preparing yourself to be a wife. Because remember, we, we getting ready just in case. We, we just never know. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready, okay? <laughs> but anyways, loves, that is all that I have for this week's video. And I will see you